Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Dave the Trunk. Um, timestamps are below so that you can skip past this intro. However, I did feel the need to uh, write an intro just to give some bit of context. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial covering how to create a unique point of interest. It's going to be super basic. Um, now, there are already plenty of tutorials covering this exact topic from excellent YouTubers and uh, mod authors. Um, however, after watching them and learning from them, um, you know, I just thought, why not um, throw in uh, my perspective? Um, so yeah, and um, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy this and uh, learn something. So yeah, thanks. Let's see. First, you want to load up your Starfield ESM, double click, set as active. Select it, hit OK, and let that do its thing. OK, so the CK is done loading. So first thing to do, go to block from world data in this object object window uh, zero. Uh, let's go ahead and delete that. That was from previous work. OK, block. So just select block, and then here, we're going to select um, any of these overlays. Uh, let's see, let's just do, I think, yeah, let's do this one. Okay, canyons, rocky medium. You, you can literally um, select any of those. Okay, so when you find one, right click and then preview block. And that is going to uh, show up over here um, to navigate uh, this little cell window. Hold shift and just move your mouse will allow you to look around. Uh, wheel moves you, um, you know, forward or backward. And yeah, it's a little clunky, but you know, it's an editor. So we got that there uh, and you can control different um, lighting over here so we can turn off the skylights and turn off uh, light lights. I don't know, uh, light skylight. Star bright, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, so we got that. And if you're like moving your mouse and it's not responding, just click on it to make sure that it, uh, it's highlighted there. Okay, so select a block, preview block. Uh, go to terrain, select landscaping cutting, which is up here, terrain, landscaping cutting, or it has a shortcut, control H. So holding control, pressing H. So now that's gonna bring uh, this bad boy up. Uh, for overlay creation, maximum recommended cut dimensions are six by six. I've read that you can do larger than that, but for the purpose of this tutorial, um, we're gonna keep it, uh, let's set it to five. Okay. And you can move. setting this let's zoom out a bit let's just move it around yeah that looks fine okay so editor id name so this is going to be just the editor id i do not believe this is going to um, this is not what pops up in the game. All right, so uh, let's do DTD, Dave the Drunk, um, practice toot mod. Okay. And then create overlay. Create. Once you hit create, it's gonna snap uh, that cell view um to the overhead uh point of view 
and then the cutting tool uh, window will disappear. So yeah, that's it. That's the end of that section of the tutorial. Uh, at this point, I would recommend saving. And once you do start saving, um, I recommend that you save often. Uh, Creation Kit is notorious for crashes, especially this one, just because it is um, the most demanding um, any Creation Kit has ever been. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Prac Tice Cute Mod. And hit save. Okay, I had a crash, so I had to uh, restart this. Uh, so anyways, uh, this is section two, the galaxy view portion. Uh, so we're going to go up here to the galaxy view, I'll select that. I had already had it opened. Like I said, my system had crashed. Anyways, this list here are all the different star systems in the game. So you're going to find a star system um, that the planet that you want uh, that it belongs to, and then you're going to select that planet. I'm going to make it simple. Just go to Earth. So let's go Earth. And it's popping up there. Just give it a second to render properly. Okay. If uh, when you click on a planet, it loads. If dots don't appear, um, something uh, didn't load properly, you can just start clicking different stuff to you know, see if something pops up. But anyways, there should be dots visible, these red dots. So as long as they are, when you find a spot that you want to place uh, your location, uh, just left click. And right there, that's going to pop up. So once you place your dot there, uh, go over to and click this Add button. And then find, you can search the overlay that you just created. Having use existing world space um, selected. So go there, save. So having that selected, uh, you know, we did it right. If the dimensions say something, so 700 by 700, that means it was done correctly. Uh, is this unique? Yes, we want that to be unique. Give that a second. That's there. And then that's it. And then we can close out uh, the galaxy view. So let's close out. Uh, so now we can go on to the third section, um, linking the location. So from there, we're going to go to uh, world data over here and go to the uh, location section. So with that highlighted and bringing up all the different locations, just doesn't matter where, just right click somewhere um, and select new. And that's going to bring up uh, the location editor. Uh, so now we want to name the uh, ID. Uh, this is not going to be visible in game. Let's go with DTD. Practice toot mod 001 underscore ID. Actually, lock. Okay, and then the name my location. Okay, so now parent location. Select the surface of the planet. Um, that you want it to be. So let's go here. We're looking for um, Earth. And it's all prefixed. Um, so S means system, and then whatever the name of the system, and then the planet, and then moons. Uh, S Sol Earth. Uh, S Sol Earth surface. So we got that selected there. And that we're going to be done with for now.
So then just hit OK. And let's go ahead and save it. That's the end of section three. Okay, so because my uh, ration kit had crashed earlier, um, the Selvi window uh, lost the block um, that I had created. So if that happens, you can just go down to cell view, um, world space filter, and type in uh, that so you can find a block and just double click one of the locations there. Okay, so now this here is uh, the block that we made. So now we can start placing stuff in there. So uh, we need three things, a ship landing marker, a map marker, and the X marker heading. That's basically the spawn point uh, whenever you land there. So we're gonna go over here to world data, uh, furniture, and we're gonna search a ship landing. And then it has different sizes. You can just go ahead and uh, select the largest one and just drag it and then drop it. You can hit E to bring up the little gizmo there to reposition it. E um, are these um, XYZ planes. W uh, is the rotating planes or whatever rotation. So just drag it down. And you don't want any clipping. I'll make sure it's as flat as possible. You can rotate it, but you know that may or may not look real goofy. Uh, hmm, I don't see it. That's okay. We can just search it up here. Uh, let's type in map marker. Click on all, and then that should pop up. So map marker, click and drag. Of e just kind of float it up there a bit. Let's rotate it. Sure, that looks good. All right. You want to place it near the uh, where the landing marker is. Okay, and now let's do the X marker. Heading. X marker. Keep in mind when you're searching with all selected, it's gonna have to sift through everything. So if you are if you don't have the greatest system, I would recommend that you not have all selected when you're searching. Click to one of the um, other subcategories that is gonna be much smaller than everything. Type in your text filter, then go back and click on all. Just a little tip to help uh, avoid crashes. So X marker heading, drag and drop. This guy is way down here. And this little cone, even though it's not really a cone, pyramid, um, wherever that's facing, that's uh, the direction your character is going to be facing when they uh, spawn into the game map. Okay, we got that. All right, so we got our three objects that we need. So now we got to link everything. Um, so going down to the uh, world space and clicking on the three dots there, uh, rename this here, um, which doesn't really matter, but um, just to kind of I'll keep track of everything. My location. WS. I like to um, add a suffix uh, to everything. Um, if it's a world space, WS, uh, you know, it's the location. I added the suffix uh, lock. Um, so just kind of. Trust me, once you get into creating more complicated mods that have a bunch of different items, um, 
it helps uh, just to keep track of everything. Okay, so we got that. Uh, go to the location drop down and select the locations created. That's over here. DTD location. Let's do that. Has changed. Save changes. Yeah. Durr. I did it. Okay. Let's go ahead and save. Okay. So now with the map marker selected, double click on that <clears throat> so that we can uh, edit some information here. And we want the data so we want to check that little box there and then all of this stuff uh should auto populate um you want to select this visible visible on star map you can travel to you don't have to but for the purpose of just being able to test it and everything uh, and then type i believe this here it's going to determine like what sort of icon pops up uh, in game uh, for your point of interest. Uh, so we can just select uh, PLI and then category, um, just none. So we'll go back up, need to reference, right click, create new, select reference in under window. And we're gonna select our little dude here that look like that should populate there. Okay. And okay. And that should be it. So we're going to cut it there uh, and hop in game and test it. See if uh, we did that correctly. So in game, uh, you want to go to creations uh, so that you can load your uh, plugin that you just made. Uh, so just go to load order, you want to make sure it's selected and hit back, back. Okay. Thank you. Um, so now let's, uh, hop in the game. Start for the star map. Uh, system. Let's find soul. And let's go to Earth. And there it is. My cool location. Let's go there. Land. And there's that. I'm assuming my game's running super laggy because I have like a million things open. I really hope that that's the case, but whatever. But yeah, that's that. That's how you make a unique point of interest. All right. Thanks, guys.